I am going to finish this video about Navalny. Essentially, this is... Um, uh, how can I say? For me, from my perspective, this is a catastrophe because it trashes my blog entirely. Uh, this Navalny bought Joe Biden, uh, I'm going to say, enormous amount of disinformation affecting my blog. Uh, he was involved in Mount Everest of crime against me. And truly accomplished uh, trashing of this blog big time with his family. Alexei Navalny have accomplished like a Mount Everest of disinformation. Literally trashed my blog, my witnessing about what went on. Like, I'm going to say, like, totally, I mean, this is like, it goes into the category of the news that Joe Biden needed for war, for direct war with the Russia, because the goal of American politics, of the Western politics, is such that they used Ukraine as a proxy for what would develop into a total war with the Russia, basically for a total takedown. And uh, so since that also is the subject, and that also is um, important subject, I will finish this trash talking about Alexei Navalny. Yeah, trash talking has a different meanings. And I'm going to trash myself in this case. Since I have devoted so much time to Central Intelligence Joker Alexei Navalny, American Central Intelligence Agency Joker Navalny. Navalny's cancer problems commenced at age 8. Navalny developed a heart problem, but not before 2008. It seems to me that cancer, and this is what the stuff they were doing to me, have affected his heart. And I have a feeling I was used as a test rabbit. Uh, exactly in the same sense and exactly in the same way as to what Navalny more or less have gone through over the years. Uh, I believe I was butchered on behalf of Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, to see how the cancer affects heart and other uh, organs over the course of the time, yeah? Navalny was the one whom Central Intelligence Agency have also used to test medications from the West, from Germany, uh, talking about the cancer medications here from Germany, from United Kingdom, probably France, and beyond whatever medications were on trial, they were not improved, that they experimented on. This man was also, he was desperately looking for his own cure, for his own medication, and during MK Ultra, when such poisoning took place, that would approximately closely to uh, medical situation of Navalny. Uh, Navalny would use me in Moscow to test these medications on me in the hospital, which became his hospital like a private clinic where he would take me. No, it's for test trials, yeah? To butcher me, basically, yeah? Um, before I'm going to trash myself completely with this video, uh, Alexei Navalny's physician died in 2021, they say. He was also a young physician, therefore I should say a butcher, 
that did trials, medication trials on me personally, disappear in 2021. Putin had him disappear in 2021. Yes. So you see the murderous clown pronounced as dead in 2021. Now, to me personally, good luck with the true, right? Because this is this is how it works. So this would be a key individual for me to get a hold of, grab him basically for the next, so he would testify the stuff he had done on me. Yeah, this individual right there, gone in 2021. Listed pronounced as dead. See? Alexei Navalny stated to me, personally, I want you to see the camera at this point in time. Alexei Navalny stated to me, you all are complaining about the hell. What was the hell? Uh, remember uh, what was done to you? I never complained about health in my lifetime till 2000 and Till 2018, 2017, when I got poisoned to the degree that, all right, I mean, you were able to see what the psychiatric pills did to me, for one thing. You can move the jaw and you have a saliva running out, you can walk and stuff like that. I had a lot of reasons to complain about real. I actually don't find the words for this anymore. This is beyond disgusting. I don't, I don't have the words because people complain about health without having absolutely any reason to complain about health. I mean, life in fable, money, doctors, physicians, what the fuck are you complaining about? Do your stuff or fucking rotten. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. You're not going to be the only one, and you're not going to be the first one. What makes the difference when you complain about the health is if you expose poisoning, killing, systematic killing. That's what makes the difference. But you suffering whatever health consequences, natural health consequences, whatever that might be, what the fuck are you even making the news about? There are health lexicons that people can use, go and see, read and go through. What the fuck is the uh, craziness, craze, mainstream media craze about this one died from those kind of complications, that one died from those kind of complications? Well, it is related to my case because they would like me to enter as many as possible disinformation that Central Intelligence Agency have used throughout MK Ultra parallel to the poisoning to basically to self discredit myself even more. Yeah, but my case is simple. I did state it what my case was, what went on with my case. Um, the stories that mainstream media is publishing about people having all sorts of different cancers, all sorts of different health uh, uh, circumstances, apart from people experiencing misdiagnosis, basically, being this improperly diagnosed with physicians. This is actually a spam. It's a trashing of normal life in people. Uh, it's incitement in paranoia. It is um, it's 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 used to destabilize sanity in people. It's used to 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 apart from myself, the way I see the people being bombarded people's 
death, all kinds of variety, all kinds of different situations, how people die and this and that. Uh, this shit is sick. We never had this. If you pay attention to the media, uh, we never had this kind of stuff going. And if we had this uh, stuff somehow going, we had this in maybe, I wouldn't even say in 10%. Yeah, about 10% of what we have recently going on with people dying left and right from all kinds of uh, irregular uh, health-related problems, issues. We never had this before. It's a trashing of the internet. It's a, it's a, it's a spam. It goes into the category of the spam. It goes into some kind of obnoxious bombardment of the people with all kinds of... Uh, it's, it's kind of panicking scare that you are doing to the public with stories of your rich and famous, which don't you think you should be fucking investigated or doing this? It's just like normal to you. It is normal because of the stuff I have listed on my website. We are in the midst of the World War III. This is a bigger war. It's going to have a totally different outcome than any other war that had to do with Russia in the past, actually with the world, because it's going to totally change the global landscape of it in the history of the world. We never had anything like this. So, yes, it is normal in a way. And on the other hand, it's not really normal. Alexei uh, Navalny the shiz of shit about Alexei Navalny did not stop with all the stuff I have dedicated to trash myself. Uh, but eventually, Alexei Navalny stated me, he said, you all complain about, you all complain about health. And I did not even complain about health. That's why I got so upset about this stuff right now. Because... When you are subjected to MK Ultra bestiality, you can hear those that enforce torture down your throat saying to you literally the words. You can see them, you can hear them repeating basically the words over the course of the time to you. Remember, because you all complain about this and that. I really never complain about it. I was a person that was the least who complained about it. I never complained about a single issue in my life. I was the person that forgot actually how to cry. And this is actual true. There is a wimp. There is a pussy you see right there on the screen. And in fact, in this moment, at this time, I look like a wimp. I look literally like a pussy because of the wimp. This is the specialty of the royals, of the British royals, the ability to change the picture, the landscape. Portray me as a wimp, as a pussy, as a nobody, as a trash, even as mentally ill in pursuing the global picture. The view through their mainstream media uh, is basically what is here to fear we have nothing to fear. Moscow is going to be ours tomorrow. Moscow no longer will disappear. We're going to own the whole world once we get a hold of Russia. Who's going to do to us anything when we are going to be kings of the world, basically, picture? This is how I feel in respect to the brazen uh, total disrespect for the law, for the treaties enforced by the criminals that British have involved through corruption in this case, and what will swallow finally the world into infinity, into non-existence of one, systematically through what I stated. When uh, Navalny repeated to me how I, we all complain and then he meant the mainstream media, the Hollywood, all the people they injected in my case, 
knew all about, read all about, got himself totally familiarized because the politic for the last 50 years was based on nothing other than on my case. He also explained to me why is it that Now, I shouldn't say what will make him big. I wouldn't say what will make him big, but the system he would use to as I earlier suggested, would manage to enforce a war between Russia and United States of America. Uh, what exactly would be that he would would make him big, yes, in a way that would make him big, yeah? So the words of Navalny to me simply were because you all complain because you all complain about your health problems and so on. Well, we are, we are talking about year 2005 here. We're not talking about 2015. We're not talking about year whatever. We're talking about year 2005, uh, maybe even earlier. And then systematically, he would use this phrase to remind me. Of what I, of what I just stated to you, and it would be this issue, and it's interesting because in 2008, Alexei and Navalny, together with the Germans, have rehearsed his death. Yes, Navalny rehearsed his death in 2008 through a poisoning, through the Novichok in Berlin. Uh, he, with the Germans, have uh, rehearsed what would become in 2020, again, a poisoning with the Novichok. So 12 years later, uh, Navalny, Alexei Navalny goes to the Germany and starts to claim that he is dead, uh, that not that he's dead, but he's being poisoned by the Putin and that kind of issues, yes? Do you understand me, what I'm saying? So what's happening with all this? For me to properly finish this stuff about the Navalny, Alexei Navalny. Well, this imposter was severely, severely, severely ill. He has, just as I have already suggested at the beginning, at age eight, he was suffering from a cancer problems. His mama will also confess. His mama will confess that in year 1989, 1988, Navalny was as ill, as critically ill, uh, actually, in 1987, 1986, before the Soviet had fallen down, 1986, 1987, Navalny was so uh, critically, critically ill that he was just holding himself for a fucking thread, literally, for a fishing line, like two-pound fishing line, to stay alive. He was so sick, he was so ill, that literally, miraculously, somehow, some way, unfortunately, miraculously, somehow, some way, this Russian murderer, assassin, and his murderous mama got a medications from the West, cancer medications from the West, which eventually saved his life. So the strike number one of death against me Navalny gets medications in 1987, 1986, that eventually saved his life, literally. Those are the medications from the West, because of involvement in this genocide against me. Navalny, the real wimp, the real pussy, gets literally saved 
by a wimp, by the pussy, basically. But that's by me, literally. And he gets to leave. This criminal gets to leave. This criminal character of Navalny is just became criminal already at his age, eight and ten, nine, eight, ten. Thanks to his mama, who was beyond insane. And that's how it all started, this testing, this butchery in Moscow, this stuff that went on. It was not only Navalny, but this is something that Vladimir Putin started. It was Vladimir Putin, it was others. He, the Vladimir Putin, his daughters, that enforced that stuff. It was not Putin only. What became his daughters eventually that continued to go on, play with this. Um, so he becomes critically ill in 1986 and 1987. In 1991, the Russia, uh, the Soviet Union falls apart. Now he is desperately already before in 1989, something like this, changing the hospital for a private services. Um, he had some doctor that, doctor's physician, some office, something that he is with me visiting these offices. Uh, then that stuff turns soon into a private clinic. A um, few years later, it's a private clinic that comes on a picture. This is where they start also trial medications on me. Uh, who the fuck knows what went on with the hospitals and stuff they had me already before in Moscow. But uh, in 1986 and 1987, this is the first Western medications, medicines, uh, approved medications that literally saved Navalny's life. So this, this Russian rat gets to leave another... Twenty-eight years gets to, gets married, makes children. Um, basically, gets to trash, destroy my life, damage me beyond repairs. Well, now you can see how a human trash in one part of the world gets to profit from somebody who could maybe leave, I don't know, maybe 120 or something, healthy, could have career, could have things in life, and his, his lives get completely trashed so that somebody in another part of the world gets to profit, yeah. So, but this is, this is not, because it's not valiant, because I don't actually, I don't exist. I'm mentally ill. I'm mentally ill in... 2012, eventually, after four years of butcheries, of MK Ultra butcheries, I get listed as mentally ill. And today you have a big funeral, it's Alexei Navalny, but it's characteristic because I'm mentally ill. And so I must envy the people, like normal people, like Navalny, basically, people that are actually recognized and so on. Yeah. This is, this is, these are the, the signs of mental illness. It also, in my case, pertains to the British royals and so on. That's all there is. It's about mental illness. And so, in 2008, in Berlin, they rehearse a Novichok. It, uh, it started in 2006, in 2008. They rehearsed this for about two years with Angela Merkel, with the German government, they rehearse a Novichok, a poison of Novichok. A big debate opens about where did Navalny get the Novichok? Was it the Czech Republic that got him? What is in another country? The Czech Republic apparently didn't even have one that time or something like this it was. And then they had to get one. Uh, and then it became suspicious because Angela Merkel claimed that the origins of the Novichok can actually be even identified, she claimed with German government, and they got it from somewhere else. It always ended in a such a way, like basically saying to me, don't even bother, because it will not know well, where is it, and this, and, you know, all the information they give you, it always ended up like fucking you in your last particle of brain, uh, make you go through hell, and then it always ended like with like, 
don't even bother because you will not find out this and you will not know that. You will all look more and mentally ill and so on. Psychiatry on the picture was with me when I was year old, basically. I interacted. I never even had a chance to see myself as a child. So if I would get raped and I also did get raped, I would not think, I would never think about myself as being small or baby or whatever the case might have been. You understand? I would see this always my life through the eyes of an adult person. In fact, I did not have the right to think about me being as little, as small a child. This is one thing the British royals have prohibited in this case. It was not allowed to think about yourself as being small, little, I should say, Moscovici, also Russians in Moscow, this is not allowed, basically. It's not allowed. It's actually prohibited. And it's a weakness, actually. You don't have the right, basically, to think about. Now, they have their kids, they have their children, that they treat them completely different. But in life of somebody subjected to MK Ultra, you're not allowed to think about yourself as being small or child or anything like that. Because you're ridiculed, you're assaulted, you are attacked, they always keep you in, like, online, you know. This is basically the nature of the crime itself. And it's really, really pedophilic. The whole thing is like a totally pedophilia, and it's laughing behind your back, and like totally pedo style, yeah. So... Because we all complain, because the wimps, the pussies like myself, we all complain. We don't know anything other than complain. That's basically is what the fuck we do. Uh, Navalny stated me, my case is going to be different. You know, the hero, Navalny explained me that the nature of his crime is going to be completely different. The years... As per how long Navalny would even live, because another shock, Navalny got in 2006, it became apparent Navalny would not even get to live much longer. This is how the rehearsal of the so-called Novichuk started in Berlin in 2006. You're going to fucking see in this lifetime, eventually the truth about the stuff I'm talking to you will come out. Eventually the truth will surface. Now, the British royals hope they'll be in Moscow, thanks to Vladimir Putin, before I will manage to deliver the truth to the world, the revelation, the biggest revelation. And they will get to kill me, hijack me, make me disappear. But the truth will set out. And nothing really is definite when it comes to this super weapons that British royals have. And I will manage to delete and wipe the whole world out. Nothing really is definite here. There is other countries also that are involved in this, such as China and India, and nothing really here is definite that British royals will manage to get in Moscow uh, and get it done with Joe Biden, with the United States of America, the way they want, and change the landscape of the world into a totally... Uh, schizophrenia like United States of the schizophrenia world basically by basically killing wiping out people and painting the fucking oh the China never existed the India never existed the Brazil never existed uh, just basically wiping the humanity from the face of the world and just saying like yeah, Great Britain uh, Beijing London number two uh, I don't know Delhi Berlin number two or something like this, I doubt it. You're going to fucking make it. And if you're not going to make it, and if you're not going to make it, you're going to have a fucking nightmare. I know for sure this case will come out. I know for sure that stuff I'm talking to you about today will come out. You're not going to make it with the Putin. Putin is not going to save you. I know you're not going to make it. I know there is a way. And if there is no way... 
then it's going to be a fucking way in hell. I know for sure that world will stop you from your plans to taking down the whole world. I know that the stuff you're doing is the stuff because you feel comfortable. You feel enough. You feel enough comfortable to doubt, to dare actually uh, a human mind, a humanity to degree with idea that you are going to wipe the whole world out in a such a way that nobody, that you're going to have, just like in greater than Great Britain, you're going to have all the courts, all the judges, everything you're going to have to yourself, and nothing really matters than you, and you can create whatever reality, picture, landscape in this world the way you... I doubt it. You're not going to make it with that. Um... But this is the nature of this crime. Oh, basically, make it or fail entirely. Because they did not know how long Navalny will stay alive. Because they had no idea whether Navalny is going to live one year or two year or three or four or five or whatever fucking year. Navalny became a professional, according to his own words, a professional in line. And what I mean by this line is basically he would appear in public when he would feel good, when he would be enough strong with his health that held would not be recorded by the people that could be visible that he's suffering from a very serious cancer-related problem. It could have something to do maybe even with the leukemia. I sincerely question his blood issues that could possibly be related to the blood transfusions occasional blood changing replacement uh, at the private cleaning. It's a whole lot of answers that the Russian government definitely has. Yes, I actually do believe that uh, they kept him alive with occasional completely blood changing procedures. They would completely change him blood. Uh, replacing blood and uh, that would last him for some time with the medications and this is how he would appear in public by basically giving an uh, idea to the people, completely wrong idea, that he is healthy, that everything is okay about him. So he became really, really good, according to his own words, at hiding, misleading the public about his health status. So he was, Navalny was actually pulling for the nose. He was fucking entire Russian society with his cancer issues and also what became heart problems, like I suggested, in 2008. So he became really, really good at something just as mainstream media, Western mainstream media became good at trashing the internet, at trashing media, at trashing internet space, media space, news, with all kinds of, oh, man, me, me, uh, I don't know, what kind of cancer, what kind of problem, what kind of procedures uh, people undergo to stay alive and so on, and the kind of a health scare and stuff. Navalny, contrary to, according to his own description and statements, became really, really great at omitting, at hiding facts from the public, at lying to the public, at uh, dismaying, at fucking around, pulling nose of the public about his actual health status. You understand me what I'm saying? And today, if I would go and grab his casket, and yeah, basically, before I get to that issue, yes. What do they say here? They say what? What do they say? So he went to 2002 and... Uh, uh, yeah, in 2000, uh, uh, the Novichok. Now he travels to he travels to uh, uh, sick, poisoned with the Novichok, and so on. And and he travels to Germany, and 
they do the testing in Germany and everything, everything comes as a positive as from the Novichok. It appears to me that Navalny had, when it comes to the Novichok, I would not go and say that, that uh, the Germans did not go and literally through the whole procedure related to the Novichok, I won't fucking go that, because the Germans know how to prove me wrong. Yeah, you understand me? Uh, the Germans, the Germans, the people who managed to murder 70 million people just 80 years ago know how to use, what kind of technology to use to prove the point, yeah? But I'm going to tell you that the Germans are not the only one in this world that know how to do this stuff. I'm going to tell you every fucking government, 170 countries in the world know how to do the, what the Germans did in 2020. It's not a big deal. It's a fucking science, but it's not a fucking big deal. It's not possible to prove me that this is not fact. I'm not going to say possible, but that this is not fact. I am fact. My witnessing is factual. I am far more credible than German government. What I am telling you have happened, it did happen. Did Navalny experience such a severe problems in Russia uh, that those problems would uh, demand, I should say, who did not know how long he's going to live. This is going to live another month, another year, or more years to come. Uh, needed, obviously, to fulfill his obligation. Uh, did travel to Germany to have his examination done. Uh, what exactly happened with the Novichok? Uh, you go and you figure out that yourself. Was it done already? To him in Moscow, uh, was it done already? Uh, was it done to him in Germany? This is not. I'm not interested in knowing any of this stuff. Yeah. But the only thing I can say is basically the stuff I have gone through, and I can tell you the first hand about here that Navalny was a person that did not know. On two occasions, on three okay, on two occasions, I can tell personally from experience with Navalny, uh, from three occasions actually, when he was eight years old, nine years old, he faced barely escaped death, and he again escaped death in 1986. In 1987, he survived thanks to. Uh, uh, Western medication that would, be, would be American politicians that would come with me to uh, to Moscow that would uh, deliver one medications that that saved his life and then basically again in nineteen in nineteen in two thousand and six again he came very close to death and this is where they started to what would become a procedure. Uh, known as a Novichok poisoning in 2020. The thing is that the United States of America, which used Ukraine as a slap bitch, had Ukraine completely disarmed uh, in a way I have described you. Uh, again, using me to completely disarm, uh, systematically disarm uh, Ukraine already during what was a Soviet Union Navalny just happens to be one of those strong points strong dots that United States of America have used prepared for a final war with Russia who will become the biggest inheritor of the Soviet Union which was Russia yes so Navalny just happens to be one more dot, one more, uh, one more strong, uh, something to grip onto, 
so it would be used. Uh, I mean, look at look at look look what the fuck is this? I mean, look look what this is. Look what this is. Look what is this here. I will get I will get I will get later to this issue here. Uh, I was looking I was interested in seeing if Navalny was cremated. I haven't seen anything that would be related to cremation or anything like this. Absolutely nothing. I found, yes, I have found nothing related to, to cremation. Um, the news, his news completely about Navalny completely, completely absorbed the internet. It, everything is, it's like totally, totally, completely, completely absorbed the internet. Uh, I see the articles that popped up on the internet uh, that Navalny have brainwashed me with during the time that he was alive. So now if I was really, really a schizophrenic, I would really, really see things and ghosts and all kinds of stuff uh, that do not exist. Uh, and it's not only thanks to, to Navalny, but it's thanks to American Western free, so-called free media, to the mainstream media, to the so-called free press, to the mainstream media. Um, just like the pictures that you get to see from Vladimir Putin, for instance, if you go to, if you did go, if you visited, let's say, some British website like Express UK, let's say if you if you if you visited Express UK, it um, they make all the pictures so expressive. You know the photos that you see so expressive that they they use. You know, and we were able to see how. Uh, the Vladimir Putin over the course of the years, how they could match with the pictures that that uh, Vladimir Putin when he when he met with this Illuminatis, with his Western Illuminatis, uh, he would have literally his press, his people exchange pose for certain issues. It was a big thing, the way they coordinated, the way they're going to portray him like an ultimate villain. You don't, unfortunately, I started this stuff, recording this stuff too late. But over the course of the years, like, Vladimir Putin totally exposed him to look like a total, like a total villain, like something so fucking evil, like, out of, uh, I don't know, to look as evil as possible, for them to, or to doubt, basically, any kind of doubt anybody would have, literally, in respect to what his goal, what his task is. He presented Russia, literally, in the worst possible sense anybody possibly can, can present, and he managed to pull the Russia behind into uh, into uh, into war against Ukraine, which is totally totally unheard of. The, the thing is, the Vladimir Putin was not alone. The Vladimir Putin was not alone. This creation of Ukrainian bitch, this creation of Ukrainian 
who become Ukrainian sacrifice, identical to Navalny. They started long ago. They planned on war with Ukraine. As I told you, they started to disarm Ukraine from the best nuclear weapons that Ukraine had when I was like when I was like eight, nine years old, they started to use me, literally using American diplomats that would visit. Uh, they knew that Soviet Union will, will fall apart because it was stronger and stronger currents that, uh, that flooded this atmosphere, this uh, sphere, this... Uh, political circles in Russia where they would be meeting frequently also with the people from the West, from Poland, therefore Warsaw Pact, Poland, Czech, Romania, Bulgaria, Albania. They would be meeting in Moscow literally with American politicians, with French politicians, with British royals, with... Germans and so on from entire world they would be meeting with certain political spheres uh, in Moscow and they became so contaminated with the rejection of the Soviet uh, fist basically pushing down throat people uh, the only alternative uh, basically a prison, a beating, a torture uh, that uh, Russians anticipated that Soviet Union is not going to last. So they systematically started to strip Ukraine of the nuclear weapons by literally using, by involving Americans, British, uh, to suggest me that there is a country, there is a republic that is going to stand up against uh, this, that can defend my ideas and so on of freedom and they listed one as Ukraine and Russians who had the upper hand in Moscow no wonder this is located also in, it's a capital of the Russia no started to pull nuclear weapons that were like most modernized from that's how it went from Ukraine to the Russia. That started to happen sometimes in 1983. The closer it looked like that the Soviet Union will fall apart, the more of those weapons disappeared from the territory of Ukraine, till they finally removed, as, as the Russians claim, the best weapons from Ukraine and made with people such as Donald Trump, uh, all the politicians that you see on a political scene, uh, British royals pressure Ukraine to give up its weapons, guaranteeing Ukraine how they will defend one and so on. We've got nothing to worry about. When in reality, in, 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 the, in the rear of all this, it was a final war that they were preparing themselves with, with Russia. Yeah? So they systematically prepared themselves for what the Russians refer today as a nuclear war and so on, with the development of new weapons that are superior, obviously, to uh, nuclear warheads. That's how they want it. What scares me is, as I stated earlier, Putin was not the only person that would, through this type of circle, I believe, commence this kind of war against Russia. The West is effective in war against Russia because of people like Putin, for whom I already have suggested have nothing to do with Russia. If it wasn't for people like Vladimir Putin, the West would not be effective in absolutely any way against Russia. It's this type of people that managed to open the door to this type of option that West was looking forward to 
basically to complete whatever Adolf Hitler did not manage during the Second World War. Well, Navalny insisted me that if I will look for him along all this stuff, he did, this is a pathological liar, psychopath, who learned his traits from his mama. If I would look for him and so on, that I would find him in uh, in some apartment building in Moscow. Then it started to take me to different apartment buildings throughout the Moscow, where it would be all kinds of stuff, uh, all kinds of people to meet me. Uh, and it would be this, he claimed me, if you will continue to look for me, that eventually they will find me in one of the buildings in Moscow, uh, uh, apartment High rises in Moscow, etc., etc. No, this is not what it is. Um, his mother, the mother of the Navalny, claimed me, and I'm going to say, not even this, not even right there. Did you see his coffin that he's lying in? This coffin, you see this coffin where he's supposedly he's lying. I'm going to use the word supposedly. I don't know. If I was if I was right there that the lady is holding the candle, I would still not know. Do you understand me? I think that if you're normal, then you understand exactly what I mean. There's no fucking way until you make actually abduction and know exactly the person. They used a doppelganger during MK Ultra, which they insisted me, suggested me, they uh, will be used to switch to his body. And yeah, the body that you see right there could be made out of silicon, could be made out of whatever it could be. Nobody knows what it is. Is it a real Navalny? Is it not? Based on the story I'm going to give you today, account, testimony, it could be his body. Because his mother stated to me, that the body is going to be like this in a casket and will not be cremated because of me, because I was the one who claimed that they will cremate him, and once they will cremate him, there will be no way to identify if it was really him or it was not him, and so on. They played with the sanity, with my sanity, in respect to his death for some like 20 years, taking me literally to his penal colonies where he would serve the sentence with even what became Slovenian police suggested me uh, how he would be, that they know uh, yeah, spirit uh, not uh, punch heart uh, Slovenian police demonstrated me the techniques uh, during uh, MK Ultra claiming me uh, how how they can kill the person, how they could kill me at any time by punching me, giving me basically a heart attack, by punching me in my chest, that they know how to do it, that they will, if I will not be good and so on, now, uh, the news surfaced out. Alexei Navalny was killed by punch to the heart. You know, if I would not give you certain facts about this individual, I, I would really, really fucking sound like a paranoid schizophrenic right now, just like they have labeled me after four years of torture in 2012. You know that? Because, I mean, this is, they refer to as torture to local psychiatrists, Peter Kapsch. They refer to him like continue with your porn, com continue with your porn. Because this schizophrenia, this porn, as they refer to it, in reality, it is a bestial torture. They refer to 
What they meant is bestial torture, bestiality performed on me. They refer to one as a porn. And in professional terms, psychiatry refers to this kind of bestiality as a schizophrenia. And they refer to this as a schizophrenia because they don't want to admit it's a torture that is a bestiality. They don't want to admit. And the people that are tortured, they rather call them as a schizophrenics, as mentally ill people. This is, this is the world where I'm coming from. This is the reality about this. If I would not point you out certain issues in this video, in this video, I would right now sound like mentally ill myself. I thought about this. It would make me look like mentally ill person. His mom dared me about this stuff, claiming me sometimes beginning in 2009, 2010. Uh, it was all about his death. It was all about the death, all, all about the death, not about his death, but also other people's death, death, death. Claimed me that because of me, he will not be cremated. And it's eventually something that he will regret. Yes, that she will regret. That she will regret by not cremating him. And will probably have to cremate him after two years. Uh, she suggested, Navalny's mother suggested that she went on to see the dead people. The way the dead people look like. They demonstrated. Yeah, they demonstrated these people that were involved in MKUltra what the dead person looks like. And they demonstrated how uh, really, really colorfully, like never before, they started to describe also in the internet how the body turns into the soap, how it's disintegrating and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into that. You can read this stuff yourself. All these Western media heroes, this so-called journalists, they're journalists. Boy, they're fucking journalists. They call themselves journalists. They described, they watched this stuff. They, they would, the government would, through the government channels, start to molest me about the issues that involve uh, decayed bodies and so on. And I told you about how they locked me, living me inside of the casket and stuff like that, and they murdered me and stuff. This trauma. Molestation to them is just something entertaining. It was just something entertaining, entertaining and funny. They uh, now I just gotta stop here because it's so many issues that were involved in it that that it just carries me away. I could just go and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk about what went on, but I'm not here for do this stuff. She insisted me on this occasion not. She insisted me that she would eventually regret the way uh, the way that she would not cremate cremate one, and that she would probably have to do this after two years. So, based on where I'm coming from today, uh, I would give you, I would cast my vote that he is really, really dead right there. Did you see? Uh, but because of so many lies, and because of nothing other when it comes to this people other than lies that I recall, it was nothing other than lies and violence they dreamed about my death. That's where I'm going to end my video in respect to Navalny, and this is going to be the last video devoted to trashing myself On behalf of the United States of America, through this Russian garbage, I don't even know what I would refer to this man like this and his mother and his family. Murder. That's all I'm going to say about Alex Navalny. Uh, I will not dedicate one anymore, any video about it. I trash myself, I ruined myself because of this garbage. Uh, but this is basically how low 
United States of America is. This is what the land of the free is. This is what America serves. This is the purpose of United States of America to this world. If you go low like this, you're going to go low with me like this. I'm going to go low, just as low as you have done to me. If it makes you feel good today, that I look trashed and so on, that I hope that governments, people of this world, will point finger at you and note this video as ultimate warning to humanity where the whole thing is taken to through United States of America. It's not a land of free, as they want to be seen as, as they want to be respected for. Uh, they own the Internet. They're the Internet owners. It's a Google world we live in. That's why certain countries have already cut the Internet off. Don't want to live anymore in that Internet. They force down the truth, people, truth, that it fits them, that they want to be the way they want to be seen as, the way each and everyone want to be seen as and remembered by. Listen to this shit. You can be ultimate shit in this world, like most of these people were. And with assistance of this special elite, you can own a piece of memory in the people's hearts, literally through the lies. And it's what I labeled as, and it hurt them. It really hurt them because they were meeting me. They were really, really pissed off about the definition I invented. I called one vacuum. World of lies and dementia. The vacuum world of lies and dementia. And then you can read the, below. You just you just go and you scroll down. The New York Times comes a lot, but okay. It's called Western Western Free Press Media. It's 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 a vacuum world of lies. A vacuum world of lies, more vacuum than what the Soviet Union used to be. Vacuum world of lies and dementia in English language. Yes? That's Alexei Navalny, so he became also the owner. He has his stake in this shit, in this diarrhea that he was, that he struggled for, that he fought for. Uh, due to his fragile health, as I explained in this video, he finally settled the very, very important piece in the puzzle of uh, taking down, basically, his homeland. And the entire world with it. So, that's my dedicated to the last video to the Alex Navalny and his family. One more time, I trash myself, but I hope that Eventually, I will get a hold of what I stated proofs. There will be actually physicians that will confirm the records, the something that will confirm my account about Alexei Navalny. I don't know, hell, if, that, if he is dead or he is not dead. Uh, and I don't give a fuck, really, if he is dead or he is not dead. This is not the, what the video is dedicated. The video is dedicated to the biggest scumbag scammer in the history of the Russia, Alexei Navalny, to point out that he had a fragile health throughout his life, that he remained alive beginning since his age and up, since his age eight and up. In 1986, 1987, literally thanks to medications that Western politicians have delivered one to Moscow. And what he started to contemplate beginning the 2006, since they did not know how long he's going to be alive, on a systematic death procedure, which 
through which he would blame the individual who is taking Russia down into the dust, that's Vladimir Putin, by omitting his real health issues, his real health status, yeah? So, nobody wants to do it, I'm gonna do it myself. I'll fucking take it down for free. Maybe with me. Here's your date and time. And I'm going to say to all the schizophrenics in Moscow, together with the Joe Biden, enjoy. Enjoy your funeral, your hero. Heroes of your motherland you are, you are. You are defenders of the freedom in this world, right? Or fucking lies.